Formlabs recently announced the latest material for their Fuse One SLS system, Nylon 12 Glass Spill. Now this brings the material lineup to three distinct powders, including Nylon 11 and Nylon 12. So whether you have a Fuse One system already or are considering one, you might be wondering what the best material is for your application. Well, in today's video, we're going to be running through each of the nylon powders that are available for the Fuse One to help you identify which is going to be the best for your use case and application. Let's start with the latest of the materials, Nylon 12 Glass Fill. Now, if you've used a nylon glass fiber filament before, you know that these materials are known for their low warpage and high stiffness. Well, the same can be said for Nylon 12 Glass Fill. Nylon 12 Glass Fill also has better thermal stability, meaning that at higher temperatures, you're likely to see less warpage or bending, especially compared to Nylon 11 and Nylon 12. With that increased stiffness does come increased brittleness. If you've used Rigid 4000 or Rigid 10K on the SLS side, a lot of those same rules are going to apply here. So if you're looking to produce jigs and fixtures that need to withstand a sustained load or increased temperatures, the Nylon 12 Glass Build is the material for you. Nylon 11 is another high performance material like Nylon 12 Glass Build. However, where Nylon 12 Glass Build is highly rigid, Nylon 11 is highly ductile meaning that this material can take a beating. Not only is Nylon 11 impact resistant, but it also has the highest elongation of any of the nylon powders. Combined, this makes Nylon 11 a perfect choice for parts with thin walls or for snap fit enclosures. Now that leaves us with Nylon 12. Nylon 12 is still the recommended material for most general purpose SLS printing. It's really the Goldilocks of materials. With its low moisture absorption and balanced mechanical properties, you really can't go wrong with choosing Nylon 12 for most of your SLS printing. But what if I want to make permanent fixtures for our shop floor? Nylon 12 will work. But what if I need to print a batch of our latest prototype before moving into production? Yeah, Nylon 12. No, but really, what I'm trying to print absolutely needs to be biocompatible and sterilizable. No, but really, Nylon 12. So there you have it. Nylon 12 is the recommended material for most use cases and applications. It really ticks a lot of boxes for a lot of people. However, if you need an impact resistant part or maybe need it to bend, the Nylon 11 would be a great choice for you. If you need something that is highly stiff or temperature resistant, then go with Nylon 12 glass built. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any additional questions, be sure to reach out to us. Give us a call or go to sourcegraphics.com and one of our helpful representatives will be able to answer any of your questions. And if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and subscribe for more videos on 3D printing and scanning.